With the 18th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Jalen Phillips, defensive end. The NFL Draft is funny because fans cheer our boo draft picks without ever seeing them play in an NFL game. For Phillips, a large majority of the Dolphins fan base was not happy to hear his name called. They may not have necessarily booed the selection of Phillips, but internally they were angry at the thought that Miami passed on Alabama running back Najee Harris. Harris was a Dolphins fan favorite during draft season, and fans wanted him badly at pick 18 if he were there. When Miami was on the clock, Harris was still available, and fans started to get pumped up at the idea of adding Tua Tungavailoa's college running back to the offense. Miami made the right choice by selecting Jalen Phillips. Harris is a good running back, and there is no debating that, but Miami should have never taken a running back that early in the draft. The shelf life of a running back in the NFL is too short, and even though Harris is great, look at all the teams who take running backs high and what those running backs are doing. Taking Phillips was a big picture move, and after 13 weeks of the 2021 NFL season, that big picture is a beautiful big picture. Why? Phillips, who was the number one recruit in the 2017 recruiting class, has always been a highly regarded player. The talent has been there, and there was no debating that. The only issue was that Phillips was injured a lot and had a scooter accident that set him back. That led to many people worrying about Phillips' medical history in the NFL, but Miami and their medical team clearly felt comfortable making the pick still. And luckily, they did. Phillips started the year slow, but that could be attributed to Miami coaches trying to put a triangle in a circle and dropping him in coverage too much. That is not Phillips' game and never will be. Phillips is a pure pass rusher and a darn good one. If you watch the All-22 of the Dolphins' defense and just watch it as a typical game without focusing on a certain player, Phillips pops on film. Phillips has speed, strength, and he's already becoming crafty. But there is one thing that you have, or you don't, and that's a motor. Phillips has an incredible motor, and he's always running to the ball trying to make plays. And trust me, he's making a lot of plays. During Miami five-game winning streak, Phillips has seven sacks. He has eight and a half on the season, a Miami Dolphins rookie record. It isn't just about the sacks for Phillips, either. He is causing havoc in the backfield and pressuring the quarterback a ton. He is also becoming a player offensive lines worry about, which allows other players to get to the quarterback too. Washington football team's edge defender Chase Young, who they took number two overall in the 2020 NFL Draft, won defensive rookie of the year last season. Young only had seven and a half sacks the entire year. Young also had 10 tackles for a loss, and Phillips already has seven. Young, who played over 73% of Washington's snaps, is a great player, and this is no disrespect to him, but Phillips has been better. And Phillips has been doing all this while only playing over 53% of the snaps for the Dolphins. Phillips has played 20% fewer snaps for his team yet has outproduced Young. That stat alone is incredible, but then when you start to tie it into Miami win streak as well, you see just how amazing Phillips has been. The 18th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft has been one of the main reasons the Dolphins can make the playoffs. Phillips gives the Dolphins' defense a legitimate threat on the edge and allows the guys on the back end to go to work. Dallas Cowboys linebacker Micah Parsons has been playing like a first-team All-Pro linebacker in his rookie season. He will likely win Defensive Rookie of the Year, but do not count out Jalen Phillips. If Phillips can keep producing sacks and impacting the game every week, he will have a legitimate shot at making his case to be the DROY. You could easily argue no rookie defender has meant more to their team this season than Phillips outside of Parsons and Dolphins safety Javon Holland. DROY or not, Phillips has silenced his critics. There will always be a fan or two who talk about Harris and what he could do for Miami offense, but they will become fewer and fewer as Phillips keeps producing. Jalen Phillips was always the right pick, and he's proving to be even better than we all expected. Jalen Waddell can break the rookie record for catches. Miami Dolphins rookie Jalen Waddell has been an excellent addition to the offense and has a chance to hit a historic statistical mark this season. The Miami Dolphins have been enjoying quite the resurgence over the last month. They have improved in nearly every aspect of the game, and some of the standout players that are contributing to wins are the crop of rookies that the team drafted but the true gem of the most recent draft is Jalen Waddell. The receiver has lived up to his billing as a sixth overall pick, becoming the premier target for the offense and putting up numbers at a historical rate. The manner in which the offensive coordinators have utilized Waddle has been in question the entire season, but that hasn't stopped him from being productive. His speed was supposed to take the top off of defenses and give Miami an option for the deep ball, 
but limitations within the offensive personnel have turned him into more of a possession receiver, for the time being. He has thrived in the role that no one saw him playing. Combined with Tua Tungavailoa pinpoint accuracy, the quick slant to Waddle has been nearly unguardable for defenses, and is routinely one of the go-to plays for Miami in the passing game. The long-built chemistry between quarterback and receiver has been obvious, and has led Waddle to break not only team receiving records, but he has his eye on a league-wide one as well. During Sunday's nine-catch performance in a win over the New York Giants, Waddle set the Dolphins' franchise record for most catches by a rookie, surpassing the 84 that Jarvis Landry caught back in 2014. While being the team leader is certainly an accomplishment, Waddle has a real chance of reaching an even more important milestone. If he is able to amass 16 more catches, then Waddle will surpass Anquan Bolden's 2002 rookie record of 101 receptions in a season. He already has the third most catches of any rookie wide out since 2016, and is only seven receptions from moving into second place on the list. Given his production and the amount of targets that go Waddle's way, there should be nothing standing in his way of the record other than an unforeseen injury. The Dolphins have four games remaining, meaning that he'd need to average just four catches per to hit the mark. Waddle hasn't caught less than four passes in over eight weeks, and has 26 receptions in just the last three contests. Waddle, and the fan base, encountered a scare this last Sunday when he headed into the locker room after pointing down at his leg following a big catch. But he returned to action and chalked up the short absence to experiencing a cramp, meaning that he should be good to go when the Miami Dolphins take the field after their bye week.